Do you like ninjas? Do you like old Japan? Do you like stealth? If you do, is Shadow Tactics going to sate your ambition, or will it leave you feeling like you just woke up to having all of your hair pulled out simultaneously? The look on your face is priceless. Watch on and find out. My name is Thorax, and this is Strategy for Busy People. If you've got a few minutes, I'll tell you what to play. In this installment of Strategy for Busy People, we are looking at Shadow Tactics by Mimimi Me Me Games. I've got about two and a half hours in this game. I don't normally like stealth games. I find that they require a lot of patience. Patience is a virtue and I'm pretty much resigned to the fact that I am therefore not virtuous. But this isn't about me. It's about Shadow Tactics. Why would I pick up a Stealth Tactics game if I don't like Stealth games? Because friggin' ninjas, that's why. I like a lot of things about Japan, especially ninjas, and samurai, and old Japanese stuff, and ninjas. I have fond memories of playing titles like Bushido, Bruce Lee, and Nobunaga's Ambition on my old PC. Granted, decidedly not stealth games. Shinobi, Tenshu, and many more came later. Definitely ninjas. So when I saw an opportunity to relive my ninja-inspired youth, I figured that I would give it a try. Shadow Tactics bills itself as a quote-unquote hardcore tactical stealth game. The basic premise is that you have a group of fighters with various special skills, and you will go on missions that require some combination of each fighter's abilities in order to be successful. Even though they're not all ninjas, trust me, they are ninjas in their own right. There are quite a few interesting game mechanics. One of the most interesting is your ability to see what an enemy is looking at in order to understand whether or not you will be noticed. By observing how various guards and other individuals move throughout a map, and where their vision cones go as they move, you can plot a course to get to your objective and prevent yourself from being detected. There is another mechanic that allows you to cue your team's actions and then execute those actions roughly simultaneously. In the case where multiple enemies need to be engaged in order to prevent detection, this works out quite well. And, to a degree, this seems to be the only time this mechanic is needed. But that doesn't make it any less fun! This is definitely a game that knows its audience, and scum saving is not only built in, but is suggested as a part of the tutorial and is ever present in the UI. This game knows that you are going to experiment with different, uh, shadow tactics? as you try to figure out the best way to achieve your goals. Each fighter has specific special abilities, like setting out a bottle of sake as a distraction before rushing in with a whirlwind of blades that can kill multiple enemies at once. Or perhaps the ability to throw pebbles to distract enemies so that you can sneak upon them and kill them. To be honest, pretty much every special ability I encountered involved distracting the enemy so that it would be easier to kill them. Is that such a bad thing? They're ninjas. What did you expect? Each mission also has some hidden objectives that are shown to you after the fact, which really appeals to all those plat-focused players out there. This show is strategy for busy people, though, so you know that platting is not something we'll probably ever discuss here. That being said, if you want to slit lots of throats in under 3 minutes and 20 seconds like a pro ninja, there's probably an award for that. I only made it through a few missions before the toil of being a stealthy ninja got tiring. Not that ninjas ever get tired or sleep. I spent a lot of time analyzing how several guards were walking around in a certain area, trying to figure out what combination of the flute and pebble distractions was required to avoid killing an innocent civilian with a bull's kick. Yes, that's a thing. And after nearly 45 minutes of attempts, I finally went somewhat kamikaze, which surprisingly worked without me being detected. Very un-ninja-like, in a way. Before I give my final verdict, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to share with your friends. Agree with me, disagree with me, or want to see other content? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to support me in making more of these videos, become a patron on Patreon. Your support really makes a difference. The Final Verdict This is a game where every mission involves quite a few ways to achieve success, and a game that rewards creative play. But it requires a lot of patience and planning in order to earn that ninja reward. On my trademark three-point score scale of avoid, meh, and I forgot to eat, Shadow Tactics is a solid meh. Unless you really are a fan of the five Ps in your gameplay. Prior planning prevents poor performance. 
but with ninjas. Meh. <laughs>